Hello, this is Rich, and in this task, you're going to see the changes that were caused by us using the Lua properties instead of hard coding. So, let's open up our test level. Beautiful. Once the level is loaded, let's go ahead and add our proximity mine in. Go to the Entities panel, and as you can see, in the default, it no longer exists. Like I said, we created our Lua scripts into the Weapons, Mines, Proximity mine. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and left click, drag and drop. Beautiful. You can see that our model is appropriate, what we set it, and that comes from Lua. So if we go left hand panel, we now have two panels here detonation and visual. You can expand these. Under the detonation, we have the radius, which is one. And the model, we actually have the claim more. And you can see we can actually browse for another model. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on the folder. And because we put object underscore before a variable, we can actually browse for a model. So let's go up a folder and select out of the AV mine, the AV mine dot CGF. And you can see it looks just like that. It looks more like a proximity mine to me. Double click, there we go. And since we told it to load the properties when we initialize, let's reload our scripts. And there you go. You can see that the new model is a proximity mine. Pretty cool. And we can change that back if we want to by clicking on the button, going up, going into Claymores, and clicking Claymore CGF. Let's go ahead and reload. And there we go. Now, Let's switch it back, go up, AV mine, reload, and there we go. And since our radius updates every frame, it will work whenever we change this value. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and jump right in game, and we can see the one meter radius. So let's get closer, and boom, we die. Beautiful. Let's press escape to get back out. And there's our mine. So we want to increase the radius, so select our mine, go to the radius, and bring it up to, let's say, 8 meters. We we're within 8 meters, so you can see our mine got destroyed. So let's back up just a little bit, reload our scripts, jump right in game. You can see the mine from far off. Remember, this is a radius of 8 meters. So let's go forward, and boom, we die. As you can see, the parameters update in real time. Absolutely beautiful, and congratulations, you just created your own Lua script to go along with your C++ entity. I hope you enjoyed, and see you later.